What's up, nerds? My fellow people of the internet. Welcome back to the I Descendant this, but Saga YouTube channel. I like your interior decorating. It really reflects your personality. I mean, I like it. Apparently, the robot likes our bookshelves and interior decorating. If you saw the previous episode, we got Kara into and then magically out of a really sticky situation thanks to the help of a large android named Luther. And now... Connor's not dead. Maybe. Um, he should have been. There's something involving a combine? I don't know. Here's your reminder to uh, hydrate and uh, subscribe to the channel. Give me a comment. Tell me how much you like water. I'm a science fiction author. And... I sometimes play games. And usually we talk about the science inside the science fiction. But beyond, you know, accepting AI and androids, that kind of science fiction has already been broadly discussed. And this game, Detroit Become Human, if you're joining us in the middle here, is... Uh, more of an interactive story than a game. And we're here talking about the story instead. Um, based on this low-poly pathway, I feel like this area, because we've been here before in a previous episode, I think this area is a kind of virtual nexus something where uh, Connor here, our experimental RK-800, gets to interact with other entities virtually, which, I mean, I'm sure androids would have their whole own social network. You've got robot Twitter. Hello, Amanda. Kyra, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Now, what ramifications have my failure the last to give Connor him? was unfortunately destroyed. Its memory has been transferred to you, but some data may have been lost in the process. I hope that you will be more careful. I will do my best, Amanda. So, what did we learn? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. But how is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? Ah, it's still pretty rocky. I'm gonna go with uh It's improving. I'm coming to know him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Whatever it takes, she said. I am disappointed that I let the other guy get away. But, rather than being an ultra gamer and going back to a previous save and fixing it, I'm very not professional. I'm just going to roll with it. Lieutenant Hank Anders is going to be 
absolutely thrilled to see us. I love that he's still driving a Caprice. Like, an old one. Like, not even new for us. Much less, you know, whenever this game is set to take place in. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? I guess he's not home. <laughs> that was my first thought. But I'm going to play the skeptic. Perhaps something more deviant is going on. Are there more? Are there more androids afoot? Well, I mean, he's there. Lieutenant Anderson. He is unconscious. Now is it because he's drunk? I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Pizza? And a gun. Well, he hasn't been... Self-inflicted or otherwise. Drinking scotch, all right. Oh, look. Here's the scotch. With only one bullet in the good old 357 Magnum. Lieutenant. Was he torn up about the robot getting up, eaten Lieutenant. by a combine? He's not going to be happy to see us. It's me, Connor. Connor. Oh, you're not Connor. Connor's dead. I know he's dead. The previous model was destroyed. I'm the new Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Now who's going to pay for the window? Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! Good job. <laughs> Attack! Ah. Uh. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. I guess we have to push for your own good. Cold water. It's going to call us an asshole again. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? He hasn't called us an asshole yet. I'm disappointed. You seem to have personal issues. 
You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Of course, you mentioned it's a sex club, and now the drunk old man is interested. All right. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go with the hippies. Anything else? In here? What's he reading? Century. No, it says century. It looks like Cthulhu. <coughs> oh, that, that'll help sober you up. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? It's enough sure. time to fall asleep. Can we learn about What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Want to see how long I can last? Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. And you leave it loaded, and you leave it there. All right. At least these steps open. The animation for this is pretty good. Sorry about the window, Lieutenant. I really thought you'd been attacked. Of course, Cyberlife will pay for the damage. Yeah, trust me, I've been my bill. Good. Ooh, he's got a curved screen. Doing good for a cop salary. Actual records. It's a jazz guy. Not knocking on it. Just don't understand it. Or don't understand the appreciation for jazz. I'm a crunchy metalhead myself. I like my double bass and a good old bleg. Like, if you put the band name on a t-shirt and the average person on the street can't read it, it's probably a good band. Oh, look, more jazz. All right, can't get past the large dog. Can't interact with the computer. Fish. Sort of, no, not sort of fish. Uh, sawfish? Oh, look, we can read the book I was looking at. Oh, it's not a book. It's another of those fake books. I don't want to touch that. I'll sell you one as soon as I'm done editing. I know, I should be working on my audiobook instead of playing silly games here. Um, as I've mentioned in recent videos, if anyone's been interested enough to actually watch my videos, I had a, a beta reader brought something to my attention with sentence fragments and the way I'm 
attacking this problem for a better way to uh, phrase it. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. I'm doing the audiobook. Reading that out loud. Recording. Editing. Done that before. And, uh... What did I miss here? I missed a bunch of stuff before I went inside. Alright. Anyway. Once I'm done with the audiobook, because... Like I said, I've done this before. I feel like I'm good enough. I can just go on the fly. So, what I'm reading aloud isn't the exact wording in my manuscript. It's running a little smoother than that. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. And when I'm done reading it, what do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. We can make. The manuscript match the audiobook, and that in a, I feel like that will make it have a more natural flow. So we're done with Connor, and we're now back to Marcus. And we're following the chick android. I forget what her name is. Watch out! Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Yeah, I guess their increased uh, physical strength would make the uh, androids good at the uh, parkour, right? So, Marcus, if we hadn't seen, not the previous episode, but the episode before last, has found himself an abandoned ship which contains a small group of androids, deviants, that are living on their own. But they're lacking... Uh, actual parts, supplies. So we're breaking into a warehouse to steal spare parts and so on so that we can keep our group of friendly neighborhood robots running. Come back up. What do I do now? We have fallen behind. It's telling me to jump. We're going to send it. All right. I figured that was too big of a jump. Look at all of us crouching up here like robot ninjas. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Oh, yes. This Marcus does the reconstruction.
All right. That's not an option either. So, what am I doing? It's got to be something else going on here. Yeah. Okay, that's still not it. Not giving me any other uh, camera angles. So where No, that's as far as I can go. But this one's I'd be seen. Here it's too high, so we have to go this way, I guess. But now, either it still says we're too high, or if we go this way, it would be too far. steps. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. North. Quick, My name is North. To fill your bags. Take as much as you can. For some reason, I thought it was G. Right? They're looting. Here we go. Ooh, I have a knife now? What's up, bro? You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Killing the guard. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I need your help. John! And we drop the knife. All right, we're gonna keep holding him. First the drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out. That's not what I wanted, but all right. Here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. What about Andrew John? Checking the bigger crate. 
that. I realize it probably... Like, we don't want to attract more attention than we have to. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? Let's see what happens. Join us. Iris. Alternate programming. Deviants. Right. And that's all we can carry. Let's go. Everybody thinks it's cool that we're bringing more homies. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. I would say we leave him to be a mole, but they come with us. We've already got the other guys. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. I agree. At the risk of angering North. It's not worth the risk. We have what we need. We can go over the fence. It's the quickest way out. Okay, then. Let's go. Uh, you don't want to get too greedy. Maybe that's just my time in uh, Escape from Tarkov talking. But, like... You got something that's better than nothing. Plus, we made a new friend. Can always come back, right? We have blue blood and bio components. There will be enough for everyone. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free! Yeah! Oh boy. I'm just fighting words.
I'm regretting not taking the trek. But I don't know. Like, we don't want to kill anybody. We don't want to attract more attention than we have to. And going in where there's two guards in that security station so that we can steal the key. Like, I don't know. Could we pull that off without hurting anyone? Could the trucks be tracked? I don't know. That's a half hour episode, though. So we will see if I've made the right choice or not. In the next one, Party Hardy.